What is up interwebnet people? This is Gotti Cosplay coming at you with another little review. This time it is not Pokemon cards, it is D&D stuff because I'm a, quite an avid D&D player and I spotted these items in my local shop and uh, they were on sale. So I got them up. So I picked them up because so I'm really excited. So in this in this review I'm going to be reviewing this the Nozor's Marvelous Miniatures Dragonborn Fighter Double Pack. So I'll get those out in a minute. But what I'm most excited about is I'm going to be getting this out. Epic Encounters the Labyrinth of the Goblin Czar. Which is 5e compatible. Everything you need to create an epic encounter for your role playing game. So I'm going to get into that in a minute. Because that's what I'm most excited about. So I'll do that later. So you can just go away for a minute. But this is the first one. The Dragonborn Fighter Double Pack. Now I've never had a D&D miniature before. I've done a lot of uh, 40k miniatures and Warhammer Fantasy miniatures and things like that. So I'm quite eager to have a look at what these are like. So I'm going to crack into these and see what uh, what's what. If I can actually crack into them. Just give me a minute. But yeah, so I picked these up from uh, from Game. Um, so if anybody outside the UK, um, it's like a... supposed to be for computer games and stuff like that, but they've expanded into miniatures, Pokemon cards, things like that. So in the pack you get two miniatures. You get on focus. You get one with uh, a sword and one with two axes. So let's have a look at the one with the sword first. So axeman, you can go down there for now. So yeah, let's have a look. Right. So first impressions. I like it. It's nicely detailed, made out of what I presume is resin. Uh, nice, nice sword. Come on, focus. There you go. Nice little sword. Now. What I do notice is he does have his uh, his right hand um, like clenched. So I would presume that that uh, should have had a shield on it, or they thought about putting a shield on it. But I could probably make one. I can probably make a shield for him. Let's look at the back. Nice cape. A little bit of mold lines, but uh, those are easily fixable. But yeah, I like that one. I'll probably use that one uh, as my here uh, Dragonborn fighter that I use regularly. And then we've got the second one, which is two axes. Not focus. There we go. So again, nice. I do like it. So I like the armor on. It's very nice and smooth. Yeah. So this Dragonborn has hair. I think both the Dragonborn have hair. Is that one? Yes, it does. They both have hair. I mean, my personal Dragonborn doesn't, but sometimes you can't get the miniatures you exactly need unless you go custom, like at Hero Forge or something like that. Yeah, I like them. I like those two little miniatures. All right, you can stay there for now. Uh, yeah, in the pack as well, you also get two bases. So two little plastic bases as well. So I'll, I'll put those on there as well. But yeah, so you two can go and move over there for a minute. Because yeah, I've started recently getting back into D&D &D after I went to Fantasy Forest. It, it was my last video. I'll uh, I'll put it at the end of the on, on the playlist. But yeah, but this is what I'm, I initially went into game for because I found this. Um, normally they're marked up at $39.99. Now that's a pretty good price considering what's in it. But I found this on sale at $29.99. Now in this box, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see uh, all the way up here. Actually, let me let me get into let me get into that. There you go. So in the box you get 20 miniatures, which are nine unique sculpts of miniatures, some tokens, a double-sided mat, an adventure book, some monster stats, and some tips. For building an epic encounter let's put the camera back where it's supposed to be yeah so what drew you into here into the depths whatever the reason the caverns welcome you into their dark embrace down here the chittering shadows seem alive hungry perhaps it's not the czar you should fear but the one he serves the one who consumes disobedient goblins and cross travelers alike the one they call the many-legged prince okay cool so i have done encounters with spiders before but this one obviously has spiders and uh, and uh, like other cave dwelling creatures and things like that so all these are all the miniatures that you get but i will show you those in uh, in a little while but uh, all that, because they're nine unique sculpts i presume that you get multiple copies of the the same miniature so i'll only show you like one copy of each miniature for the sake of uh, for time okay so in the box you get your epic encounters booklet which goes through uh, all your information, um, your enemies, locations, things of that sort. It even gives you challenge ratings up here. So a little, little challenge and a quarter for a, a crystal mine goblin. 
And then you've got Drip Frank Spider, which is one of the maps for Challenge Rating 1. Goblin Mine Witch, Challenge Rating 3. Seeing just there. Berserker Grubs. And the Goblin Mine, the Crystal Mine Goblin Czar, Challenge Rating 5. Cool. And then you get all the stuff at the back. And the Steamforge Games team. So I presume these are made by them. Yeah, copyright Steamforge Games. There you go, 2021. So in the box you get one Crystal Goblin Mine Czar, you get one Berserker Grub, four Crystal Mine Goblins on Drip Frank Spiders, two Crystal Mine Goblin Artillery Slingers, two Crystal Mine Goblin Witches, two Crystal Mine Goblin Assassins, eight Crystal Mine Goblins, two Pit Trap Tokens, one Drip Frank Spider Swarm Token, and an A2 sized double sided mat. Okay, so that's that. So these are the tokens you get. You get two pit traps and the drip fang spider swarm token, which is quite cool. And you get the double sided A2 map. Obviously that's way too big to show on uh, on there, but there you go. You can roughly idea of what it is. Gridded out in uh, in five mil five in the squares. Come on. Oh, they've taped it in place. Hang on a minute. They taped it in place, so I've got to untape it. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, the miniatures first. So which one are we going to do first? We're going to do a Crystal Mine Goblin Assassin first. So there it is. Let's zoom in on that. Come on. There we go. Little assassin with a couple of daggers. Yeah, these ones are made out of plastic rather than resin, I believe. But again, the quality on the miniature is very good. I do like it. Easily paintable. Sorry, I've got my finger in the way there. All right. That's your little assassin. I will put these back. Uh, next one, we have what looks like one of the Crystal Mine Goblins, which is this one. This one has a dagger and a short bow. Come on, zoom. Focus. No, it's not wanting. There we go, it's focused. There we are. Got it. This one's got a bit of a cheesy grin on his face. I wonder what he's been up to. I like that one. Cool. It's one of them. You get three of those. Then you get the one for the Crystal Goblin with the sword. Okay, the sword one. Come on. Come on. Focus, 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 focus. There we are. That's focused on it. That's one with the sword. You know, some of the detail on this is really nice considering it's plastic. Some of like the Warhammer miniatures that I used to do, especially some of the old ones about 10, 15 years ago, they weren't even this quality. I know you can 3D print stuff now, and obviously you can probably 3D print a lot of stuff like this very, very cheaply, but obviously I don't own a 3D printer, so uh, I'm not going to bother. But yeah, that's the second one. And then you've got the third one, which has the whip. The whip and a dagger. So there we go. Come on, focus on this one. There we are. Let's bring it a little bit closer. It's a nice detail on the whip. Almost looks like it's made out of somebody's spine. Here he has a, like a bandolier around him. Let's have a look at the back. Yep, fur and some like leather armour, leather boots. That's cool, right. So those are the mine goblins. I've shown you the assassin. So the next one I'm gonna show you is the artillery slingers. Now I do like this miniature because it's literally one guy on top of another. There we go. So he's got a slingshot. He's got a little sack on his back. They even put the, they even put the balls in there. Come on, focus you. Come on. I do apologize for my camera not focusing as quick as it should. So yeah, that's quite cool. Yep. Yeah. I like him. Also, all the goblins are done out relatively the same. Same style of boots and armour, fur around their back. That's quite cool. Our right, next one is going to be the Goblin Witch. Come on, you. Let's get you out of there. Okay, the Goblin Witch. Come on. There we are, focused. Alright, so she holds a staff with some sort of animal skull in it. 
long cape stood on a, a platform potentially made of like some sort of fungus or some sort of mossy covered rock but again that's cool I'll definitely be using these in one of my games coming up soon because I very rarely play with miniatures but seeing this I thought uh, I may as well have a go with it right then you get these four goblins mounted on the drip fang spiders Now I do like spiders. When I played forty, when I played Warhammer uh, Goblins, I had an absolute army of spider riders. Now this brings back memories. This does. So the guy's got. Uh, he's sat on the seat. He's got a shield and his sword. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer with the. There we go. Nice detail on the eyes and the fangs of the underbody. That's quite tasty. That is. I, mean, I like the cheese. All these goblins seem to have like a massive cheesy grin on their face. All right, cool. All right, next one is going to be the. Uh, I think it's going to, let's go with the berserker grub. The berserker grub. This is like a an, like an underground worm type of thing. Yeah, very worm-like. Burrows through the ground. Surprise attacks, that sort of thing. Oh, that's quite cool. I do like the fact that it's got loads and loads of spines. <laughs> All the way down its uh, its body. On the underside. That's cool. I like them. All right, cool. Last one in this box is the Goblin Czar himself, the namesake of the game. Let's get him in focus. So obviously he's on some sort of uh, like multi-legged creature not sure what that is but uh, i'm sure the book will tell me obviously he's got somebody driving it for him and he's sat on his throne at the back or some sort of big sickle two-handed sickle that's cool let's have a look at the back yeah honestly for the price for for 30 pounds you do get quite a lot of stuff in here so you get 20 miniatures, the book, the game map, the tokens, uh, all sorts of stuff. But yeah, I really like that. So yeah, it's um, Tales of the Goblin Czar, bought from game in the UK. I'm, sh I'm sure you probably have something similar in your uh, in your country. But there's the uh, there's the box. That's what you're looking for. Again, done by uh, who is it done by? It was done by Steamforge Games Limited. There you go. So yeah, Steamforge Games, that is a very, very good box. I like it. They do have others. They have ones with orcs. They have ones with like very large miniatures like a dragon or a giant spider, things like that. And to be honest, if they're still on sale when I get paid again, I'm going to get another one. But yeah, that will definitely help do like, um, like goblin raids and things like that, underground caverns, things like that for like small encounters things and, to and stuff like that. But yeah, and then obviously I've got my two, my two uh, dragon born fighter miniatures there which are quite cool so i'll definitely be using those in my next campaign or even if i join a campaign because i've recently started up doing a campaign at my local game shop which we had a, a game last night which was very enjoyable we'll definitely go back there again but yeah so guys thanks for watching um obviously it's only it was review of something completely different other than uh, other than pokemon but uh, i hope you enjoy en enjoy it and i'll maybe do one in the future if uh, if people like it so thanks a lot for your time and i'll see you in the next video Toodles!